Hey, Shana. Hi, it's Rick Cowan, beautiful beast of sports. How are you doing? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. Man, I'm really stoked to get this opportunity. Um, what, what many people don't know is how busy uh, schedules are and getting this together. So it's, it's great to see you, first and foremost. Yes, it's really good to see you and talk again. It's been crazy, like, how busy our lives have been, but I'm glad we got a time to sit down and talk a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, this is a commitment interview, and these are always so fun to do. Uh, not that any other time I get to speak with you or any other, the uh, beautiful beast is not, but this is particularly um, uh, a standout type interview, and I wanted to give you a shout out first off, so congratulations to you. Thank you so much. It's been a crazy journey, but we finally made it, and it's a new chapter in my life that I'm excited to start. Yeah. And uh, just so everybody knows, uh, Shane is also our reigning uh, beautiful beast of sports MVP. Uh, we're super happy about that um, for many reasons, right? We celebrate your success as you yourself had set by and celebrated other people's success and getting commitment and on their journey, uh, mm -hmm. trusting the process. You're a senior, right? So uh, particularly, yes you know, a little bit stressful, right? Getting, getting this, getting this done. Can you, can you spend mm -hmm. just a few minutes and uh, kind of tell us uh, about it? First off, tell, tell us about uh, one being our beautiful beast MVP, you know, what, what went into that and your selection and, and you know, talk to that for a minute and then we'll move on. Okay. Well, it's definitely an honor being the reigning MVP. And I want to thank you again for giving me that title. Um, but really, I think it started during uh, our quarantine period in 2020 uh, during COVID because when we were stuck and we weren't allowed to play, um, me and my dad sat down and we were like, okay, the end goal is to be recruited and go to a D1 college. So what are the next steps we're going to take to get there? And a couple of things um, that we came up with is staying persistent, uh, having a positive mindset and using social media to our advantage. And um, it, some people have been following me for a while and see that my Twitter has grown tremendously over the past year. Um, and I really use Twitter as a recruiting tool because it has opened so many doors and got me in contact with so many people, um, as well as sports recruits, which shout out to them because they helped me get all my emails out and it gave me feedback if a coach looked at my profile or something. So. I really used both sports recruits and Twitter to my advantage and used that during my recruiting process because it was stressful. I mean, there was a point where I couldn't play softball at all. So what did I do next? I started making at home videos and I went to the fields by my house um, just to make videos, just be like, hey, I'm still here. I'm still working hard. I still want to make my dreams into reality. Um, so, you know, I like I got really creative and I think that put me on uh, the radar with a bunch of coaches and um, I just use that to my advantage going through the whole process. Yeah, it, it certainly did with us. And I, I know we were doing weekly workout sessions led by mm -hmm. Shana. And uh, what was kind of cool was um, there were girls on there from literally all around the country in every region of the country. Right. Um, and, and you did an impeccable job and, you know, Thank it's you just, so a, you know, just a real standout uh, for us. And Thank so, um, you know, at some point you have to pass on the baton. We're fixing to go into that season again where we start uh, looking for our MVP. So, um, but what an honor, uh, Shana, I, I do consider you just, you know, one, one great and impeccable young person. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hey, let's shift gears. Let's talk about um, uh, your college first off. Where, tell us about this journey. How did you guys um, you know, get on the radar or they get on your radar? Talk to us a little bit about that. So living in California, like I know it's weird to be like, oh, I want to get out of California, but my dream state to live in has always been Tennessee. And I've really just been like, okay, I want to go to Tennessee. This is something I want to do. I'm going to make it a reality, whether it's after college, 
it's for college. I want to live in Tennessee. So I did my research. I was like, okay, D1 schools in Tennessee, how can I make these a really reality, right? So I saw Chattanooga, Knoxville, uh, Middle Tennessee, Memphis, all those colleges, and I did my research on them. And Chattanooga really stood out to me because they have a good environment. Everyone seems to love Chattanooga. I've never heard anything bad about Chattanooga. Um, and so I would send them email after email for uh, my schedules. If I posted a new video, I DM them on Twitter and be like, hey, look at my new, my new stuff. Um, and, you know, I didn't get much feedback from them. It was during the quarantine time, but they had come out to a couple of my games. Um, my coach got in contact with them. And then um, finally, I got in contact with them, went out for my unofficial, and I absolutely fell in love with Chattanooga. I loved everything about it. Everyone is so nice there. And so I kind of was just like, okay, this is my home. This is, this is where I'm going to spend my next four years. Um, and so we made it, made it a reality. And yes, that's, that's kind of what, how it went down. Well, you know, you you are very creative because even during that process, you and your your mom Leanne were posting uh, pictures and videos, and you know, just the travel and you know, it was it was fun. It was like it was really fun. Yeah, where's Shana at? You know, it's like put the pin on the map. You know, it was kind of <laughs> exactly. Cool was, so. I traveled so much last summer, um, just trying to get my name out there, trying to get my face in front of different people. Just like, hey, I I want to do this, like. I'm here, and so that's that's kind of what we did. Yeah. Hey, a couple of personal um, questions. One, kind of in the softball space, who would you consider to be a, a personal idol of yours? Um, definitely Haley Cruz. I look up to her so much, kind of being an outfielder, and she lives in California as well. I think uh, maybe 40 minutes from me. Um, but I've always looked up to her. She's an amazing athlete and even better like mentor. And also she is really big on social media. And I kind of like resonate with that because I am too, either whether it's on TikTok or Twitter, I kind of have a social presence. And so I feel like we're similar in that way. And so I really look up to her. Well, you know, when you say you look up to someone that kind of leads perfectly into the next question. And it, it's an area that's real important to me because you know, you yourself have become, um, you know, somewhat of a of a, an idol and mentor to a lot of the littles out there. And so I wanted you to speak to them, speak to the 10, the 12, 13, 14 year olds for a minute about them. They're following their process and falling in love with this sport. Right. Um, I would say have fun while you're doing it. Like uh, me and my team have been talking about this lately um, just because of certain circumstances within our organization. But um, if you make a mistake, if the ball falls out of your glove or if you don't get a good hit or you don't throw the right pitch, it's not the end of the world. This like game is so little in the aspect of the world that you should really just have fun doing it. It's a game for a reason. It's yes, it's competitive, it's hard. You put your blood, sweat and tears into it. But at the end of the day, have fun and enjoy every moment. Like today, I played my last fall travel ball game ever. And it's mm -hmm. like, it's kind of just hitting me now. Um, but have fun, like show up, show out, like put everything you have on the field, have fun doing it. Just have a blast because the more fun you have, the better you're going to do. It's not all serious. Like in 15 years, yes, softball is going to be a really big part of your life but it's not going to be what determines everything. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. don't let it have such a, like, I don't know the word, but don't, don't let it bring you down because it's, it's supposed to be fun. So have fun doing it while you're young. Yeah. Well, that's an outstanding word of advice. And thanks for that. Um, tell us uh, real quickly, the, the name of the school, I see the, the shirt on. Can you, can you pull that into view so we can yes. see? Yes. University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. Oh, outstanding yes hey i'm at the point of the interview i like to wrap it up by actually turning it over to you you get to do a shout out anybody that you'd want to out there so wrap it up for us shay the floor is yours okay well first and foremost i'd like to say thank you to you you have been such a huge supporter in my whole journey and have come out to my games you're awesome i love your family you guys are the best 
Um, so a big shout out to you and Beautiful Beast Nation for always having my back and hyping me up. Um, my family, oh my gosh, I would not be where I am without them. Um, even though like all the pushing they do, it's like, it's best for me always. And I always have to trust them because they know me better than I know myself sometimes. Um, so big shout out to my family, um, all the coaches, all my high school coaches, um, the Brashear organization, Firecrackers. I love, I love everyone in the Brashear organization. Um, being in such a competitive environment just makes like the game more fun because everyone is so good that it's just, you're at a higher level. And so I'd like to say thank you for, to them for pushing me to be a better player and getting me to where I am today. Yeah. Hey, Shay, love you to death. You're, again, you're an impeccable young person. Thank you for this time. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was great talking. It was good to talk to you too. And I'll talk to you again soon, okay? Sounds great. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. All right, bye.